Today is the day. Well, that was a little short-lived. <laughs> what I'm remembering today. We don't like it either, do we, babe? <laughs> Day to you. <laughs> oh golly, we've got some rogue sheep this morning. <laughs> oh me, they followed us over here. Sillies. Do we have water? Do we have water? We have water. Okay, that's good. Different day, same thing. Uh, got a late start this morning, y'all. Slept in a little bit. Must have needed it. That's, when I, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Uh, yeah. Had a late night, went to Raleigh and did that event that I talked about in my last video. It went very good. It was super fun. And uh, yeah, I think I'd like, I think I'd like to do more of that. It was fun. It was good. It's always good for me to get out and connect with people in person. I just really love being able to do that. So that went well. Evidently, the family didn't eat supper. I ain't nothing, he said. <laughs> uh, I'll try to do better tonight and actually cook something for them. So he and Wes went yesterday afternoon and got, uh, got, <laughs> got something that had been ordered. I can't remember what, but also got the hose fixed for the backhoe. So hopefully he can get that replaced shortly. Using the tractor is taking longer it takes longer, he can't get as much in the bucket. He said it doesn't tilt to the same degree as the backhoe and it's not quite as big. So hopefully that can get fixed today, maybe. One more veil, I think. So far, so good. I'm not wearing too much mud other than my boots. All right, let's check this feeder one more time. Let's see, girls. <laughs> let's see. Do you have enough for today? Or is today the day? I think today is the day. Yeah, okay. Time to grind. <laughs> Still slippery snot right here in the shade. <sighs> All right, let's see if it needs a jump. Is it gonna crank? It's not that cold, so here's open. Well, that was a little short-lived. <laughs> that bin ran out of corn, so we're heading over here to another bin. to close that lid. Like I have a serious problem. Like uh, when people leave waters on, I don't do that because I don't have to fill up waters, but I cannot remember to close that lid. <laughs> and I told myself I was gonna remember. Okay, we just tried, but it was too far down the hill. 
it's kind of on a slope right here, which is making it difficult. It's going to make it difficult to get lined up this right. Take two. Okay, I think we got it. Look what I'm remembering to do. Woo. All right, all done. Okay, good deal. All done and all did. Does that feel good? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know the mud for some of y'all is concerning. This happens every winter. Um, we don't like it either, do we, babe? <laughs> But uh, uh, some people recommend getting a bunch of rock and putting under our feed areas. The fact is, one of the, the first feed area has a bunch of rock under there, doesn't it? It doesn't seem to uh, make much difference. There's no amount that we could possibly afford that would make a difference. So we just do the best we can with what we have to do it with. And it's mud season. We just have mud season. Welcome, welcome to mud season. <laughs> oh, sprinkle here, sprinkle be here before we know it. Well, not soon enough, but it'll be here. Okay, I got less than five minutes to change shoes and get back out the door for guitar practice. Hey, Cutting it close. Okay, back in the kitchen, we made it to guitar and back. Do you hear, I hear puppies. I'll show you puppies in a little bit. I don't think I've shown them in the last video or two. Anywho, um, and since the family did not eat that pound of hamburger that I had thawed out <laughs> last night, I needed to do something with it. And I got an email from my friend Cindy, who said she tried my taco ring and it was a big hit with her family, which reminded me that we have not had our taco ring in ages, and it's one of my favorite things. So, tonight is taco ring night. Brown in the hamburger, you can find this recipe on my blog. I will link to it. Super easy, super good. Perfect weeknight meal. I'm gonna add some Southwestern orange label musket powder and a little bit of water and let that cook. And it's all folded up and ready to go in the oven. And voila, this one turned out right pretty. Yeah, and I made it in my Stargazer skillet. You can check that link out in the description. I'm loving these skillets so much and as promised here's puppies puppies nursing clara is um not so sure about all this anymore <laughs> and neither neither am i it's a lot isn't it baby it's a lot puppies puppies in the house it's a lot but they're cute they're super cute and they're growing super fast <laughs> Okay, y'all, it, it is another day on the farm, but it is a very special day on the farm. Today is our girl's 11th birthday. Feeling all the mama feels. I just made a little reel on Instagram and put some pictures and uh, yeah. Where does 11 years go? In the blink of an eye. And I know they're gonna keep going just as fast. Anyway, um, we're looking forward to a fun day. After we feed, we're going to eat lunch. My dad, stepmom, and aunt are coming up and we're gonna take her out to lunch. There's a new Mexican restaurant she's been wanting to try. So, and it's on our side of town, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna go do that. And she requested little, she likes his little sausage links, sausage and waffles. I haven't made waffles in a month of Sunday, so I did that this morning. Started out with a bang, left her and Wesley at the house playing with puppies, and um, she might get the day off of school. I think she's going to try, I think she's going to try the, try that hand, that card today, which is fine. I think I'm going to let her, and uh, anyway, so that's our day. Our girls day we're gonna try to make it fun and uh this is fun this is always fun <laughs> the sun is shining it's supposed to warm up today i believe but it is still cold this morning um 
I think it's supposed to be back in the teens tonight. Anyway, we're in this pattern of cold, warm, cold, warm. So we're just gonna keep keep mudding it, I reckon. feeder's full. This is good because I'm looking at the time and I was gonna I was gonna be late for lunch. So, Woohoo! And the sheep have obviously decided that this is gonna be their new morning routine. Follow us down the drive over here to graze in this pasture. <laughs> Which is fine long as they make their way home and they did yesterday so so be it <laughs> what it is huh? do you have an idea i don't know if you do or not i know it's on the horse lady yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh was that a lead ring lead? No, rings oh rings riding okay. rings yeah. Oh, it is a pet, huh? It's a pretty turquoise pan. <laughs> okay, let's see how this goes. Everybody's here. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Austin. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Good deal. All right. Okay. Siphoning little science lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, oh my there it comes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Siphon gas out of a tractor like that. Yeah. yeah. It's a little slow, but it works. Yeah. Hello, Donnie. Hello, Donnie. Hello. Well, Austin has had a big day. We had a great time with our family, just visiting jam session with drums and the banjo. Uh, I was gonna say the guitar. I think it was just the banjo. <laughs> I didn't record that, but we had a great afternoon. And now I've got popping, popping butter and oil over here. The birthday girl has requested steak and potato for supper. <laughs> Can you imagine? So that's what we're doing. I didn't have any big potatoes that weren't on the verge of being rotten. So um, I'm doing these little potatoes and I'm gonna smash them. I just cooked them in the microwave for about 10 or 12 minutes. And then um, I melted a little butter and a little olive oil and I'm gonna smash them and put some cheese and salt and more butter on them and broil them and call them good. And the steak is on and it's about ready to flip. Bonnie said I would sure like some. Gus said I would sure like some. We're just gonna hang out right here and see what happens. <laughs> I almost left them in there a little too long. Maybe I did. I think they'll still be all right. Gosh, I always forget. Forget, forget. Anyway, here we go. Smash taters and steaks. <laughs> last night and it's supposed to be cold again the next couple nights it's supposed to snow to, again tomorrow night <laughs> we'll see how that goes 
Same old, same old today, y'all. Except I've got, I got a call in 30 minutes. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cutting it pretty close this morning. <laughs> I've actually got two calls today, but it's too cold outside to do much else, so that'll work. Tell everybody you're doing well. Lady's doing well. Yep, she's a, uh, she's, she's a poop eater too. Okay. It has been a long day, y'all. A long day on the computer and Google meetings and on the phone. And um, I needed a change of scenery tonight and I needed a soft seat. <laughs> I've been sitting at my kitchen table because I needed internet and I don't have internet out here in the crib, but I don't need internet to edit videos, so here I am. Everybody, cross your fingers with me. Supposedly, I am supposed to have access to Starlink internet in March. I've been on the list for 14 months. It will be 14 months as of last 12 months now, so by then it'll be 14 months. Um, I'm hoping that works so I can do more work here in the crib and less sitting on the hard bench in my kitchen with all the people and all the animals and all the things. <laughs> so, here's hoping that that actually happens. Today was good though. I know I keep telling y'all that there's new things coming. There really is and I'm super excited. I've got some new home good products coming that I'm working on that I really think are going to be fun. Can't wait to share that with you when they are ready. And some other things coming out. I'm going to make an announcement next week on here for something that it's going to include and involve you, all of you. I'm excited about that. So stay tuned. We should be possibly getting some snow tomorrow night. The kids are excited. Lawrence and I, not so much. We're kind of ready for things to dry out a little bit. And that is not going to help the mud situation, but... It is what it is, and we'll just keep doing the best we can. We appreciate you being here, and we will see you next time.